Kebaso. And I just want to say something about him because I know this guy personally. We went to Kenyatta University together and we were both in student politics uh, at some point. I don't know, I think he was running for president or something. And you know, we had a couple of running, so I know him personally. This guy is a force. This guy is not a joke, as in he might be young, he might not have the most resources, but if it happens that he gets resources and he can actually afford to run a campaign, President Ruto is in trouble. I Hello and welcome to my channel. So that was uh, Morara's former schoolmate from KU, spitting sentiments that I happen to also share. Like I said on the last video, which I did about him last week, which I'm going to link at the end. So let's just hear what else she had to say about him. I saw how this guy ran his campaign in, in, in uni. Oh my God. And the one thing about student politics, it's much harder than national politics. Do you know why? Because with student politics, you're dealing with people who are educated, people who know things, people who will ask questions. But in national politics, sometimes you're dealing with somebody who dropped out of school from at class two. They don't even know anything. Some of them can't read and write. That's why you see most politicians who do really well. The the what what is the name? James Orengos, Gladys Wangas. They came from student politics. Babuwa win a classic example. So Murara Kebaso is 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 a serious guy. Like he's a really serious guy. He's very intelligent. He's extremely eloquent, and he knows how to command people's attention. And if the government thinks it's just joking and just being funny, they will wake up to something else. And we as young people, we need to emulate such people where we are not afraid to call out nonsense when we sit in government. Yes. Gone are the days where we were afraid of a president, afraid of a politician, afraid of a member of parliament. These people are our employees, not the other way around. So it's time when employees are not doing what they're supposed to, what, what happens to them? They get fired. They get questions. They get warning letters. And this is what is happening. I was watching him live on JKL, and they called Hussein Mohammed to, you know, um, either confirm whether the president called him or not. I mean, Hussein, who are we fooling here? We both know if the president calls me right now and tells me something and tells me not to say it, I can't say. And I can't confirm that he called me. You, you, you know. I don't know why you are trying to make him look like he's lying or he's, he's, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Do you think somebody will go on national television and say the president called him and actually he didn't? Do you know what will happen to that person? I mean, Hussein, I know you're trying to protect your job and protect the government and you work for the president. But at the end of the day, some things like this, you can just say, I neither confirm nor deny. Yeah. I mean, journalists 101. So you now make yourself make, look more foolish than you, the government actually is because you sort of raising your tone and saying, oh, he's lying. And say, We both know who's a liar in this government. Anybody that has a 100% lie and another person has a 10% lie, I mean, who are we going to believe? But all I'm saying, guys, is support this guy. Support him as much as you can. I know this guy is a, is, is not, a, is not a joke. Mm -hmm. He might be young. He might look as if he doesn't have all the facts right. But give him time. Give him resources. The president will have to sweat in 2027. Morara, if you decide to run, I'm behind you 100%. Okay, so unfortunately, there are some bloggers who have embarked on a smear campaign against him under a hashtag called Mulika Murara. So for those who don't know, Swahili Mulika means expose. There's a blogger called Stan Davies saying, I'm here to Mulika Murara for demonstrating true patriotism in exposing lies powered by our taxes from the political conmanship we have suffered for years as a country. Murara Sr. has conned in quotes politicians of an opportunity to sell us lies while we cheer them. So that one is uh, actually a supporter of Mulika Murara who is flipping the script on uh, the bloggers who have been hired to smear his uh, reputation. So this Kalawa Stacy says, victim, if you've ever been victimized by Murara Kibaso, 
you are not alone. Share your story and help us prevent future scams. Let, uh, let us hold fraudsters accountable. Another one called The Dawn. I warned Kenyans about this con man Morara. I have been vindicated and it's now in the public domain that the fraudster is not a lawyer, has never stepped in a law school, live alone practicing law. Be warned of this fake lawyer. I think he's uh, trying to twist the story because Morara himself said he did a law degree at Kenyatta University, but he did not go to Kenya School of Law to get the diploma that uh, enables you to do law as an advocate. So because he embarked on a business which started being very successful earlier on, he saw no point of um, going to Kenya School of Law. So right now he's using his law expertise in uh, educating people. I think this one is a supporter of uh, Morara because the person is asking those bloggers, Unaibiwa mabilioni ndiyo ulipwe mapeni utetee mwizi. So for the Nanswahili speakers, that means you ripped off billions, yet you're being paid pennies to defend the person stealing the billions from you. And then uh, the next one, that is uh, DJ Kroba, that one supports Morara. He said he tagged Itumbi and Hussein Mohammed, who happened to be the PR people of the state house. I, uh, uh, he, and he says they are out here paying 500 bob to push this hashtag Mulika Morara because apparently those uh, bloggers defending the government are getting 500 for every mean tweet about Morara. So they're saying instead of fixing the errors he's highlighting, we know this is GOK. There's a guy called King David Mure who also sounds like um, is a Morara supporter. And he says, these cheap government bloggers, wondering whether the government bloggers have been paid enough to handle the ish they take. So he decided to mulika Morara and return aura for aura. The guy, Kevo, that's one of the bloggers, looks like he can't handle the truth because this King David DM'd him to alert him about a story he has on Morara. Then he urged him to share the same post I mean the same uh, expose. But then the guy said, okay, that guy Morara has been using my money to fuel that vehicle that's taking him around the country, exposing Ruto's failed projects. I can't believe that there are people who do not know that loyalty is everything. I bought very good furniture from his base at uh, competitive prices. The quality superseded my expectations. Very honest and loyal man he is. So obviously he was annoying that blogger because he was not exposing any dirt on Morara. In fact, if anything, he was praising him. So you can see after that, because the blogger didn't get what he wanted from him, the blogger went ahead and blocked him. That's why he indicated down there that he's unable to send direct messages to his host. That's uh, the dawn again saying Kenyans beware of uh, Morara. Another one says Morara is not at peace after being exposed. Kenyans have equally decided not to change, uh, not to changa for fuel. Let's expose this fraudster. Another one is uh, supporting Morara. So he addressed the bloggers, Babazenu, Wanatuomba za Kabeji, Hapa Bez. This one flipped the hashtag to Mulika Ruto. Has this man ever lied to Kenyans? Has this man used police to abduct and delete Kenyans? Has this man ever been charged at the ICC for deleting Kenyans? Is he the worst president? Rashid went on to say, Morara has 40, uh, your 40 days are over. Kenyans are speaking and a lot is being said against you. It seems like it's only four bloggers who are going on and on and on. Another one is trying to insinuate that uh, Morara is uh, 
of the Rainbow Clan. One is uh, scrutinizing the appeal Morara made about um, getting a presidential vehicle to help him with his civic education rounds. So he says, Morara Kibaso is a teacher again. Mchezo wa town tutaelewa. Morara is a conman. Akomboka be a lot, guys. Another one defending Morara said, the truth be said, Morara Kibaso has been traversing the whole country for the last one month exposing the white elephant government projects. Today, Kenya Kwanza bloggers are bitter uh, uh, with him. They are sponsoring hashtag Mulika Morara on X aimed at blackmailing him. But Wajinga Waliisha. So it seems like uh, okay, the efforts of uh, the bloggers are proving to be futile because it seems like Marara has support from uh, many Kenyans. In September, he made an appeal uh, to sponsors, that is the people of Kenya, to acquire a presidential sound system at 1.2 million Kenyan shillings or a middle sound at... Uh, 838,200 so he also quoted uh, the prizes and asked people to verify with a market rate so he indicated he had uh, by that time raised 325,000 on his M-Pesa number so these are the this is the breakdown of uh, what he required See how he has a lovely handwriting. So the amount was uh, adding up to one million two hundred and seventy-eight thousand. So shortly afterwards, somebody donated a car. That was, uh, I think, two days afterwards. That was on fourth of September. So this, so this vehicle, I got nervous because he exposed the registration number, which can be used to track the person who donated the same, and to also track Marara by the unscrupulous people who are against his mission. Okay, so if you check the latest post Marara has made on his uh, X platform. You'll see my fears were not misplaced because he has cancelled the caravan he had planned to central Kenya due to safety reasons. So the message read, due to security reasons, I've cancelled my Mount Kenya tour of stalled projects where money has been stolen. The tour was to start tomorrow morning, but intelligence briefs uh, reaching me indicate serious in infiltration by state operatives by persons coming as well wishes and persons of goodwill i'll announce the next move i don't think that's wise and um, if you check the comments below that post you'll see a lot of people agree with me because somebody here said it's not appropriate to disclose your destination all you have to do is perform the landing of amphibians stop revealing your whereabouts on social media and surprise people why don't you do them secretly the way you, s you used to do them without announcing what was wrong with that regarding Gashagwa is a thug he cannot allow you to touch Morima but guess what he'll be surprised does Morima belong to him so for those who are lost, Morema means Mount Kenya, uh, that is the central legion, uh, region. Expect that to be the norm going forward. You will be fought by the state and a huge chunk of the very same people you are risking your life to help. That's life of a revolutionary. Sarikali Meanza could take serious. Now we need to make sure the work doesn't stop and no harm comes. That's true. So I believe you should be having impromptu visits. Catch them when they don't expect you. This is how a political conman behaves after collecting money from gullible followers via M-Pesa. That's a hater, obviously. Gemi meanza. Kibaso Marara, you soon go underground. And he implementing his house project, he articulated, then deleted. Amepata pesa yabure from his poor and gullible. poor and gullible Gen Z's. This was expected once the M-Pesa was full. Oh. 
you'll always have detractors. Marara uki expose za mlima Kenya, kikuyus will be angry at Uhuru Kenyatta. Na it affect your sponsor's plan. Don't tell us you get intelligence reports unless someone in the presidency shares with you. That one sounds like a hater. You should be careful. There are bad people out here who want to ruin all this. Just move silently, Morara. We don't need to know where you are. Just bring the videos for that. Don't announce where you're going. Update us, Ukitoka Huku. Ukitoka Huko, let's see the videos. Organize offline. Stop being predictable. You should not announce where you're going. You should just do the amphibians landing. Catch people unawares and talk across social media. Stop disclosing your moves. We agreed you will not announce where you're going, when and how. Impromptu visits Kitambo were mobilized were Ugisha Toka. Those who will come to listen at that time are your genuine supporters. Your safety comes fast, Kiongozi. Gesha Gwarigadi is a mobster. He'll not permit you near Morema. Old boy Rigiji alisema Morema isiguzwe. Does Morema belong to him? Consider setting up a podcast studio. Well-intentioned Kenyans will be present at the location to provide you with photographs and videos of the stalled projects before you conduct your research. Once you verify, distribute it through the podcast. Once you have confirmed the area is free from any potential threats or uncertainties, you may proceed with your visit. Online platforms can effectively, effectively, uh, effectively facilitate the dissemination of civic education in multiple languages. Uh, I don't agree with Kip Kurui because if you announce everything on uh, your podcast, you're going to be exposing yourself. So another one said, Morara, I agree with you. Be cautious of some of the so-called sponsors who have come your way. They are on a mission. You'll be shocked to find out that while you're exposing hot air projects, some of them are secretly discussing your findings with the very looters behind the scenes. They are more than ready to help cover up theft. Said on the last video I did about him, which I'm going to link at the end of this video, Morara needs prayers to cover him because I believe he's under surveillance. And we also need to pray for him because we need him around so he can inspire other youngings to get involved in civic education so that we can make these politicians realize that they work for us and that they ought to deliver as expected. So I urge people to support him. And while I'm doing so, I'm very much aware that there are some detractors who are determined to bring him down. So I'm also going to urge these detractors to take the evidence that uh, Morara is presenting out there and analyze the same and really do some soul searching and ask themselves why they are fighting a course that aims to improve the livelihoods of every Kenyan, including them. So I believe I'm going to revisit this topic because there's developments every now and then. So just comment your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and share this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.